So Marco Rubio, uh, during the campaign, said about Donald Trump that he can't be trusted with the nuclear codes, right? Because he's such a crazy man, which Marco Rubio was right about that. <laughs> uh, turns out they so now they came back in the then after he said that Marco Rubio endorsed him <laughs> he endorsed president he endorsed Donald Trump for president um, and now even after this last crazy round of uh, Hispanic bashing Marco Rubio who's Cuban uh, said this he said uh, I still believe Trump can't be trusted with America's nuclear weapons but he's still going to endorse him. <laughs> he's still endorsing him. They go, wait a minute. What about what you said? He goes, I stand by everything I said during the campaign. And then they were trying to ask him about, well, what about that stuff he said about the Mexican judge? He's like, I don't have anything new to add from what I've already said. I've talked about it all week long. That's it. So look at the mental pretzels they have to twist themselves into to support this guy because Republicans can't be seen not obeying authority because that's immoral to a Republican. The most moral thing you could do is follow authority. And if someone has authority, that means they're right. And so Donald Trump must be right because he's the strongest man and he has authority. That's how their brains work. It's been broken down by George Lakoff. I've t I did a whole video about it. We'll tell you about it again some other day. But that's how they think. That's how their morality works. The strongest guy who has authority must be right. So, yeah, but Rubio still still endorsed, not, not rescinding his endorsement. Rubio, he's dangerous. He's erratic. He can't be trusted. He's got my vote. Yeah, but he trusts him with the new Kuhler codes <laughs> the new cooler codes he'll yes. trust him with he's gonna he's good see I, i'm gonna endorse him to have the nuclear codes but i wouldn't trust him with the nuclear codes like this is already a joke that you can't <laughs> like this is it's already a punchline like it's already written i still believe he can't be trusted with america's nuclear weapons codes but i'm endorsing him and i think he should have access to those nuclear weapons codes <laughs> it's already you can't spin it any harder wouldn't trust him with the nuclear. I wouldn't trust Donald Trump with, with directions to the freeway, okay? I wouldn't let him use the microwave. <laughs> I thought they'd get a bigger laugh. Marco Rubio, ref he refused to tell reporters what he thinks about Donald Trump until somebody tells him what to think. That's a good joke. <laughs> Uh, he, by the way, Rubio declined to answer further. So he was asked, look, so he was asked... He asked if his support. They were, he was asked if his Trump for, uh, support for Trump is now unconditional, or if it's possible Trump could do something to lose Rubio's vote. Damn. That's when he said, "I don't have anything new to add." <laughs> <laughs> hey, is there anything this guy could do to ru to lose your vote? I, I'm not going to say, because boy, that Rubio, right? I talk about profile and courage. All these Republicans, profile and courage, lining up behind a guy. <laughs> they, they, they all say, "Isn't fit to be president." I gotta gotta get behind him. And Paul Ryan, are you going to get to that? Paul, no, we already talked. I already did a video about Paul Ryan last week. Oh, yeah, Paul Ryan. We, you know, he, he's a, a rice, racist. He's a leader, Paul Ryan. So that's why he has to take a lot of time to think over a gutless, cowardly decision. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I, since you already did it last week, but I just want to reiterate the same uh, logic pretzel yeah. is happening with. You know, Ryan calling his remarks on that the judge racist, but I'll still I'm still going to support him. Yeah, but so, but what he wouldn't he would say he kept saying, "Wow, those those comments are out of left field." I guess that means racist left field. I guess racist things come out of left field. <laughs> Came out of left field. It's more like right field. Yeah, I think. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So Rubio declined to answer further questions about Trump, telling the Weekly Standard, "Now I'm focused on things like Zika. Write a story on Zika." He actually said that. Zika is, of course, a porn star from Thailand, and this Weekly Standard <laughs> decided not to run that story. You know what Zika is. It makes your, uh, your head really small. Zika? Mm-hmm. Like uh, Trump's brain. Mm, his hands, like his tiny hands. You know, Marco Rubio searched his deepest held principles and discovered he didn't have any. You know, with his racism, mis misogyny, and xenophobia, the GOP is delighted to declare that Trump is a true Republican. I don't know how that goes with Rubio, that joke, but it still kind of fits in. 
Uh, so there you go. Marco Rubio, Profile and Courage. This, the beauty of this race, if there's nothing else about Donald Trump, is he reveals the quote unquote pretend family values party to not have one value that they give a shit about. They don't care anything about. Oh, family value? This guy's on his third family. <laughs> The guy, this guy's on his third family. He runs a a, a a a a naked girl contest every year. That's his claim to fame. Really? Where? What? What is it? The miss? They one they walk around in bikinis. What is that guy? You ever see that? Have you ever watched that? Uh, I don't we watch. watched the Miss America like two years ago. We decided to watch it. It was stunning. It was mm-hmm. stunning how unbelievably empty. I mean, I, I know it's a beauty contest. They don't even call it that anymore. Mm-hmm. And uh, they don't even do a talent thing anymore. They used to pretend they had talent, and now they don't even bother with it. They just have them walk around in a bikini again. It's a pretty gross thing when you think about what's happening. I usually just watch it with the uh, sound off (laughs) while I'm uh, cooking meat. Yeah. Sound off, cooking meat, box of Kleenex nearby. 